Hello, Natasha. Hello, Slim Brewer. It's week number eight, the end of the course. How many pounds have you lost this week? One. What's your total weight loss of the eight weeks? <laughs> One. What happened? I don't know. Um, did I get stressed? I think I did. What's yeah. been your challenge of the course? Um... Trying to make me go to bed at 10 o'clock. What time have you been going to bed? Well, <clears throat> I went to bed at 20 past 10 the other night. And then, for some reason, I didn't get up to 11 o'clock the next day. What's been your highlight of the course? When I lost nine pound twice and then put it back on. Have you noticed any health benefits doing this course? How well, do you feel now compared to the start? When I lost the nine pound, I did, but obviously I don't anymore because I put it all back on. How do you think your health is between now and when you started the course, better or worse? It's obviously got to be better. I can't be as bad as what I was. And how are your stress levels from the beginning to the end of this course? Beginning, I think the first five weeks were fine. And then the last three weeks were like awful. That was what awful. about today? How are you feeling? I'm really peed off today. I am really, really peed off. Why? Because my letting agency came, the new letting agency came around my house today. And apparently I owe the landlord six months worth of rent, yeah? Yet my auntie came around and proved that we had written six checks out to the old agency, the old like letting agents, and they have, they've nicked all that money. Nicked all so no. you've got the evidence, so everything will be okay. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> What's your future goals, Natasha? I don't know. Hey, if my mum don't, if my mum don't watch the video, I'll tell you a secret, yeah. Okay, some brother loves secrets. I got another dog. <laughs> She's so pretty. <laughs> I just hope my mum. Don't watch this video. Slim Brother thinks it's a good idea because dogs mean exercise. Oh yeah, she needs a lot of exercise. On the bad side, <laughs> dogs cost money and the money that you haven't got to spend on food. Remember you told us last week you've got no money to spend on food. I know, I got some How money are you going to feed these dogs? Well my friend lent me some money today, she owed me £20. But long term, how are you <clears> going to feed these dogs? It only costs £10 every two weeks to feed them. But last week you said you didn't have ten pounds to feed yourself. I know, but I got lent twenty pounds. So I bought two bags of dog food. What have you eaten today, Natasha? <clears throat> today I had some cereal. And Tamlin told me not to tell you, right? She told me not to tell you, but we had chippy chips. Today. Mhm. Mm From where? From the chippy. And did you have any protein with it? Like meat. Yeah. Does tomato ketchup count? No. No. Is it alright to have meat with chips? Okay, remember with at the chipping. start of the course when we said about balancing protein and carbohydrate? Yeah. It's the most important thing. So even if you have a binge or a treat, it's still really important to have protein. So it would have been better if I had fish with it? Yes, or a but sausage. fish is very expensive. So yeah, something like a sausage would be ideal. Could have had a battered sausage. Even if you're going out and about, <laughs> chips and cheese, which is cheap, is much better to have than just chips on their own. Okay. Okay? Okay. Even mayonnaise has got protein in it. Ugh. Okay, we don't like that. No. Right, Natasha, I've got a plan what to do from here. What's your plan to do from here? You've got a plan. Yeah. What would? What's your suggestion? What do you think me and you should do for the future? Uh, um... Not get stressed. I don't know, tell me your plan. Okay, Slim Brother is starting another course immediately. Okay. And would like to invite you back. Woohoo! How do you feel about that? Yeah. Slim Brother, however, will be putting conditions on this course. Okay. <laughs> Slim Brother's condition for you to come on the next course, Slim Brother 3, will be that you lose one pound every week. Okay. If you don't lose one pound every week, you'll be instantly rejected from the course. Right, okay. 
what about, right, if I lose two pound one week and then gain a pound, is that the same? That will be acceptable. Okay. As long as your total weight loss is one pound every week. Okay, that's okay then. Okay. I think I can agree to them terms. So if you lost nine pounds in the first week and then no more weight but didn't gain anything, therefore you would stay on the course. Okay. Do you understand, Tasha? Okay, but can I lose more though? Absolutely. Right, this okay. is just the minimum to stay on the course. Okay. Would you accept my offer? Yes. Will you be here this Thursday at 8 p.m. for the start of Slim Brother 3? Is it at 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. Then I'll be here at 8 o'clock. Wait. Yeah, I'm at work. I'm at work tomorrow. So looking to the future, what's your goal for the next eight weeks? Hmm. To lose one pound every week. And how much weight would you like, like to lose in total over the eight weeks? Eight. <laughs> and looking at far, far future, what's your overall total goal weight-wise? I don't know. What's my weight meant to be for my height? Well, how many stones do you think you'd like to lose? I think six. You'd like to lose six stones? Yeah, I think so. Because that would make me like ten stones. And I think that sounds a lot healthier. If you really knuckle down, Slim Brother really believes you could lose that. Woohoo! Either by the end of this year or by at least next summer. Six stone by the end of the year? It's possible in six months. Seriously? It's not six months till the end of the year. It's five. Okay, by the end <laughs> of January. <laughs> right. How do you feel now? Happier. I'm happy to stay than happy in ages anyway. Right, go home, rest, go running with the dogs. I'm not running, I'll take them swimming. And when will I see you again? Thursday at 8 o'clock. <laughs>